<clears throat> so, I'm going to go through the regular prayer list, and after that, we'll just take prayer requests. So, Father God, we thank you for all of the healing that you've manifested in KCJ. And the authority given to me by Jesus Christ to do the Great Commission, I command her kidney to be healed now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we thank you for the blessings you've given Rick. And Father, we ask for continued financial breakthrough and favor in getting that internet connection installed in his apartment so he can do the online ministry. Father God, we just ask that you'd comfort Rick and his family in their time of grief as they grieve the loss of his sister. Father, just give them comfort and draw them closer to yourself. And for any of them that do not know Jesus as their Lord and Savior, Father, we just ask that you would put the right people in their path to draw them near to him so they can receive salvation. And command the ear ringing to stop and never return. Father, we thank you for the protection and guidance you've given Jamal and the strength that you've given Cassie. And Father, I command the respiratory system of Martha to be healed and fully restored. Father, I ask that you open her womb and give her the child she's always wanted and the provision to care for that child. Father, we ask that you continue to bless her business and her writing. Just give her inspiration and lead her through the process. I want you on behalf of Pam and I ask that you give her financial favor to get her mortgage paid off sooner rather than later. I want you on behalf of Omar. Grant him financial breakthrough, strength, and wisdom. Give him direction in his life. And Father God, we come to you on behalf of Pastor Dave. And Father, we thank you for a successful and flawless surgery. Father, we thank you that his healing will be supernaturally fast. So he won't have any prolonged suffering from the incisions. Father, we thank you that that infection is now gone. Father, we come to you on behalf of Madison. Father, we ask you for that you grant her protection, reconciliation, for a heart of forgiveness, open lines of communication with her family, wisdom, and discernment. And Father, we come to you on behalf of Laura and ask that you grant her strength and a positive attitude. I command that back pain to leave her now in the name of Jesus. I command the elbow pain, the shoulder pain, and even all the foot, knee, and leg pain to leave her now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask you to touch Marcus and Annalise in their minds and hearts and give them strength. And Father, we come to you on behalf of Emmanuel. Father, we just ask you to grant him financial favor, wisdom, strength, weight loss, positive attitude, favor with people, guidance and answers, and inspiration and ideas in business. And Father, we come to you on behalf of Shana, and we ask that you grant her peace and rest, strength, endurance, reconciliation, victory over loneliness, healing from depression, deliverance from witchcraft and unclean spirits, a new apartment and increased faith. And for her father, we ask that you would just send somebody across his path, the right person to lead him to Jesus for salvation. Command all the cancer to leave his body now in the name of Jesus. I bind all those tormenting spirits that give him nightmares. I speak peace and healing over his mind, spirit, and emotions. And for Christopher, we ask these Command his feet and ankles to continue to heal and be strengthened, be healthy and normal. And Father, we ask that you continue to protect Carlinda. She does ministry on the streets. That you continue to guide her son in the path of righteousness. 
Man, Herbert's kidneys to be healed. And to command the cancer to leave Anna's body now in the name of Jesus. Command lymphedema to leave. Command her liver, pancreas, and intestines to be healed and restored to perfect health. Command the tumors to dissolve to nothing. And command her lungs and kidneys to function perfectly. Command that low blood pressure to become normal blood pressure and stay that way. In Jesus' name. Come to you on behalf of Brenda and command that cancer to leave her body now. On behalf of Sue and McLean, I command their respiratory systems to be fully restored to perfect health. And on behalf of Justin, I just command that post-surgical pain to leave now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we come to you on behalf of Sarah. Command loose teeth and gums to be tight. Command her throat to be healed. I command acid reflux, digestive issues, ear ringing, insomnia, dizziness, nausea, head pain, and mouth pain to leave her now in the name of Jesus and never return. And Father, we ask that you grant her peaceful, uninterrupted sleep that will restore her energy and her strength. On behalf of Keith's daughters, we ask for continued protection. On behalf of Mrs. Petway, command her immune system to be fully restored to perfect health. With her red blood count and low blood cell counts to be perfect. And Father, we just ask you to continue to give Joshua deliverance from anger, alcohol, family wounds, and grief. As you continue to send the right people into his life to Lead him to Jesus for salvation. On behalf of Sue's cousin Kevin, I command the cancer to be dissolved to nothing. On behalf of Miriam, I command stomach pain and ulcers to leave now in the name of Jesus. On behalf of Neil, Letitia, Jeanette, Dwayne, Freddie, Curtis, Shakia, and Emmanuel. Father, we just ask you to would send the right people to cross their paths and make a divine appointment to lead them to Jesus for salvation. On behalf of Maria and Carmen, ask that you continue to help them in the renewing of their minds. Continue to bless the marriage of Thaddeus and his wife. Come to you on behalf of Eric and his household and ask that you grant them deliverance from bondage, healing of his heart. Strength of his mind and emotions, discernment and love. On behalf of Zachariah and the Rivera family, Father, we just ask that you give them a heart to draw nearer to you. And on behalf of Emmanuel Campos, we ask that you minister his mind, body, soul, spirit, and grant him grace. On behalf of Janice and Erica, we ask that you grant them deliverance, healing, truth teaching, and understanding of the Holy Ghost. On behalf of Virginia, we ask that you grant her healing, strength, provision, shelter, support, and restoration of her life. On behalf of Joy's father, we command cancer and glaucoma to leave his body now and never return. On behalf of Lewis Perkins, command his kidneys to be fully restored to perfect health and function. On behalf of Regina, command that foot pain to leave her now in the name of Jesus and never return. On behalf of Penny, yes, Father, we ask you to grant her wisdom, understanding, knowledge, help of the Holy Spirit to give healing, hope, and deliverance to the women she ministers to. On behalf of Bob, Lolita, and Greg, we ask that you give them restoration of their family. That you would heal wounds in their minds, spirits, and emotions. And deliver, deliver Greg from every addiction. And on behalf of Yvette, command all cold symptoms to leave her body now in the name of Jesus. And every system in her body to be restored to perfect health. And Father, on behalf of Carlos, 
We ask that you grant him a perfect and flawless surgery. It would, it would just restore his health. Father, we just ask that you would guide the thoughts and the movements of everyone on that medical team involved in that surgery so it will be flawless and perfect. On behalf of Charlene, Father, we just thank you and give you glory to your son Jesus for the healing she's already experienced. And Father, we just, we just command her body to be fully healed, completely healed. Agree and declare that when she goes home to be with you, Father, she'll be in good health. And Father, we ask that you would strengthen Stephanie's sister. Give her the strength and the wisdom and discernment to handle the situation at hand. On behalf of Bill, we ask that you grant him favor with his court case. On behalf of Veronica and Levi, Father, we ask that you give them peace and comfort in their time of loss as they mourn the loss of their father. Father God, we ask that you minister to Mandy that she doesn't hold herself full of guilt and regret for the mistake that she made, but she would learn from it and move forward. Command Steve's body to be healed now in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that you minister to Shoeb in Pakistan, that you would guide him to Jesus for salvation. Father, that he would have the peace, the strength, and the fortitude to make it through the bullying that he's experiencing at work. And we bind that spirit of suicide. We declare he shall live and not die. And Father, we just ask for continued protection for Shana against the works of darkness. That you'd help her to continue to renew her mind and her strength. Grant her clarity and focus. And Father God, we ask that you grant the HAPS community healing. That you would give them hearts of grace and mercy towards one another. Father, we just ask on behalf of Richard Young, Wilson Young, and Taisha that you would send the right people into their lives to lead them to Jesus for salvation. And Father God, on behalf of Apostle Swinney, we ask that you give her the energy, the strength, the clarity, and focus to succeed in her academic endeavors. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, Shana, good to see you. So, any prayer requests, go ahead and type them in. Now would be a good time. Anybody's got a prayer request? Oh, blessings, Carlinda. All right, you want your son to get married. You got COVID again? Crying out loud, I thought you got her over that already. Well, absolutely, we're going to pray about that. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of Carlinda. And Father, we thank you for the healing blood of Jesus. It's already paid for all the healing Carlinda will ever need, past, present, and future. And we give thanks to Jesus for delegating his authority to us to do the Great Commission, which includes heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, and make and preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations. And by that authority, I command COVID-19, Omicron, Delta, any unnamed variant, every detrimental virus and bacteria, I curse you to death and command you to leave Carlinda's body now. I command her heart, lungs, and kidneys to function perfectly by the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right.
So now next we're going to pray for Shana's son, Christopher. Father God, we come to you on behalf of Christopher. Father, we ask that you would guide him to the right woman for marriage. That she would be the one that you made for him. And Father God, we just ask that you prepare him for her and her for him. So when they meet, the time will be right and they will be ready. And Father, let it be a marriage with you at the center. It would be a godly Christian marriage. And let them not be unequally yoked. And we know they won't be because you're preparing them. And Father God, we just ask that you give Christopher purpose and strength. In Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, yeah, I imagine, Carlinda, nobody feels good when they have COVID or the flu or the cold, any of those. And some of them are worse than others. It's a miserable, miserable time. Even the COVID has to bow the knee to Jesus, so we know it can be dealt with. Oh, thank you for the award, Shana. Appreciate that. Anybody has a prayer request, now would be a really good time. So go ahead and type that in. Oh, well, the book of Colossians is pretty short. Why don't we just take a look at that one? While we're waiting for, waiting for prayer requests, we'll just look at the book of Colossians. It's not that long. It says the epistle of Paul the Apostle to the Colossians. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ who are in Col Colossae. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We give thanks to God, to the God the, and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, praying always for you since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all the saints because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven of which you heard before in the word of truth the gospel which has come to you as it has also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth as you also learned from Epaphras our dear fellow servant, who is a faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, we also declare to you, you also declared to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in knowledge of God, strengthened with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the light. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his Son, of, into the kingdom of the Son of his love, in whom we have redemption through his blood. And forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible. Whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. 
and he is before all things, and in him all things consist. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that all things he may have the preeminence. For it pleased the Father that in him all the fullness should dwell, and by him to reconcile all things to himself, by him, whether things on earth or things in heaven, having made peace through the blood of his cross. And you, who once were alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now he has reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and blameless and above reproach in his sight, if indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, of which I, Paul, became a minister. I now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ for the sake of his body, which is the church, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship from God which was given to me for you, to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of his, this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. To this end I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you, and for those in Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, and attaining all, to all the riches of the fullness assurance of understanding to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Now this I say, lest anyone should deceive you, with persuasive words. For though I am absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoice, rejoicing to see your good order and in steadfastness of your faith in Christ. As you therefore have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as you have been taught, abounding in it with thanksgiving. Beware lest anyone cheat you through philosophy and empty the seat, according to the tradition of men, according to the basic principles of the world, and not according to Christ. For in him dwells all fullness of the Godhead bodily, and you are complete in him, who is the head of all principality and power. In him you are also circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, by putting off the body of the sins, of the flesh by the circumcision of Christ, buried with him in baptism, in which you also were raised with him through faith in the working of God, who raised him from the dead. And you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all your trespasses, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us, which was contrary to us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the cross. Having disarmed principalities and powers, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them in it. So let no one judge you in food or in drink or regarding a festival or a new moon or Sabbaths, which are a shadow of things to come, but the substance is of Christ. Let no one cheat you of your reward, taking delight in false humility and worship of angels, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding fast to the head from whom all the body, nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments, grows with the increase that is from God. Therefore, if you died with Christ from the basic principles of the world, why, as though living in the world, do you subject yourselves to regulations? Do not touch, do not taste, do not handle, which all concern things which perish with the using, according to the commandments and doctrines of men. These things indeed have an appearance of wisdom in self-imposed religion, false humility, 
and neglect of the body, but are of no value against the indulgence of the flesh. If then you were raised with Christ, seek those things which are above where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your li our life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. Therefore, put to death your members which are on earth, fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience, in which you yourselves once walked when you, were, when you lived in them. But now you yourselves are to put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy language out of your mouth, do not lie to one another, since you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him, where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering bearing with one another and forgiving one another if anyone has complaint against another even as christ forgave you so you also must do but above all these put on love which is the bond of perfection and let the peace of god rule in your hearts to which you were called in one body and be thankful let the word of christ dwell richly in you let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching the admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. Sing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Wives, submit to your own husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter toward them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing to the Lord. Fathers, do not provoke your children, lest they become discouraged. Bondservants, obey all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men-pleasers, but in sincerity of heart, fearing God. And whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance for you serve the Lord Christ. But he who does wrong will be repaid for what he has done, and there is no partiality. Masters, give your bondservants what is just and fair, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving, meanwhile praying also for us that God would open to us a door for the word to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in chains, that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. Tychicus, a beloved brother, faithful minister, and fellow servant in the Lord, will tell you all the news about me. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts. With Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they will make known to you all things which are happening here. Aristocharchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you with Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, whom you have, about whom you received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, there are many old, they, these are my fellow, only fellow workers for the kingdom of God, who are of the circumcision. They have proved to be a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a bondservant of Christ, greets you, always laboring fervently for you in prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. For I bear him witness that he has great zeal. Those in Laodicea and those in Hierapolis, 
Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you. Greet the brethren who are in Laodicea and Memphis and the church that is in his house. Now when this epistle is read among you, see that it is read also in the church of Laodiceans, and that you also likewise read the epistle from Laodicea. And say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. This salutation by my own hand, Paul, remember my chains, grace be with you. Amen. Hey, Edward, blessings, good to see you. <laughs> Much love. So, if there be any prayer requests, go ahead and get those typed in. Yeah, I told you the book of Colossians was short. Even if I was tripping over my own tongue trying to read it. Yeah, so if you got a prayer request, go ahead and type it in. That's what I'm here for. Sorry I had to skip out on you, Edward. I just <laughs> I got home from work and I had to go. I couldn't hang around anymore. Sounds like you and JB had a pretty good conversation going anyway. So Seems to be a little bit slow tonight. Hey, no problem anytime. Trying to figure out what in the world did I do here? <laughs> oh, there I am. For some reason I couldn't see myself on the screen there for a few seconds. Hard to believe nobody's got any prayer requests tonight. I just felt led to come on here and make some prayer requests before I went to bed. And I thought somebody might happen along the one had want somebody to pray for him, you know.
Well, I really thought there somebody would be having some prayer requests. Everybody must be healed and doing good. No pain, no sickness, no injuries. Well, Edward, if you're still here, I sent you a sent you an invitation. Yeah, I can definitely do that. I already prayed for them in my regular prayer list. But yeah, we can add that to it. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of the HAPS community. And Father, we just ask that you would show them the fullness of the gospel of Jesus Christ in your kingdom. And Father, just help them to have divine appointments that would just lead them to Jesus for salvation and help them to see the wisdom in your teachings and in your commandments. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, Theo, good to see you. Welcome. It's good. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. Yeah, it's a pretty good week. I think everything went pretty well. Got some snow and it's going to it start warming up today finally. So snow started to melt. Needed the moisture. So I'll take it even if it comes to snow. I hope everybody in the audience had a good week. And hope you're doing well and feeling good. Sure, sir. You're still on page three, so... Not that big a deal to flip over to page three and run through the list. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of Sarah, and we thank you for the healing blood of Jesus that already paid for all the healing she'll ever need, past, present, or future. I command loose teeth and gums to be made tight. I command her throat to be healed. I command acid reflux, digestive issues, ear ringing, insomnia, dizziness, nausea, head pain, and mouth pain to leave her body now in the name of Jesus and never return. And Father, we just ask that you put a hedge of protection about her tonight as she sleeps and protect her from any attack of the enemy. Keep her safe so she can have an uninterrupted and peaceful sleep tonight that will restore her energy and her strength in Jesus' name. 
Amen. All right. Any more prayer requests, go ahead and type them in. You're welcome, Sarah. If I'm just going to read Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 22. It says, My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. And Psalm 91 is a famous one for anybody dealing with sickness. Yes, he has. So I'm going to just read Psalm 91. It's not that long. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your right side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you who have made the Lord his re because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high your dwelling place, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra. The young lion and serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. All right. Anybody got a prayer request, go ahead, type it in. You have not because you ask not.
me just to make it clear you don't have to be a christian for me to pray for you all you have to do is just make a request don't care what denomination you're with or if you're with any denomination don't care if you're with another religion or no religion at all if you have a prayer request just type it in i'll pray for you don't care if you're republican or democrat don't care if you're vaccinated or unvaccinated and I couldn't care any less how much pigment you have in your skin. If you're a human being and you have a prayer request, type it in the chat and I'll pray for you. Yes, there's no more prayer requests. Maybe I just will call it a night. Absolutely, Edward, we can do that. So let's all join in, join together and we'll pray for Edward's team at work. So Father God, we come to you on behalf of Edward's team at work. And Father God, just give them willing hearts, willing to learn, willing to cooperate with one another. And Father God, we just ask that they would have, be, have minds open to the training. That they would have grace and mercy towards one another. And that they would even develop a sense of fellowship and brotherhood. So that they can work together efficiently and peacefully. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, any, any more prayer requests? There's no limit to how many prayer requests one person can have. You're welcome, Edward. Yeah, let's join together and pray for Sarah. She's got a little bit of pain and some nausea. Father God, we come to you on behalf of Sarah. And Father, we thank you for that healing blood of Jesus that he shed for her paying for her salvation and for all of her healing, for all of her life. And I command that mouth pain to leave now in the name of Jesus. All that pain must leave now. It has no choice. It must bow the knee to the name of Jesus. I command nausea to leave her now and do not return. Speak health, peace, and calm to her stomach and entire digestive system. I command her digestive system to line up to the blueprint Jesus Christ has given it. Because he had that all planned out before she was ever conceived. Jesus does not make mistakes. But his designs are perfect. By the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen.
Okay, any more prayer requests, type them in. You're welcome, Sarah. Jesus already did the hard work. We're just praying. <laughs> yeah, now let's join together and pray for Sarah to get good night's sleep. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of Sarah again. And, Father, we just ask that you would station angels round about her as she sleeps. So no attack of the enemy can get through. So she's perfectly safe and perfectly protected while she rests. I speak peace to her mind, will, and emotions. And Father, we just ask that you grant her that peaceful sleep that will restore her energy and her strength so she'll wake refreshed in the morning. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Love you too, Brother Edward. Enjoy the family. All right, any more prayer requests? Any prayer requests at all? Well, thank you, Shana. You're welcome, Shana. That's what I'm here for. Oh, thank you for the award. Appreciate that too, Edward. We're showing there's 18 people on HAPS. If any of you have a prayer request, go ahead and type it in. I mean, if you stop and think about it, if it doesn't work, I'm the one that looks like a fool, not you. So what do you have to lose? I don't charge money for this. Never have, never will. So it's free to you. So just put your request in the chat and I'll pray for you. I guess a lot of people probably don't understand my payoff is to see the prayer answered so I can celebrate with whoever I prayed for. We can celebrate that their prayer was answered We can and we can glorify the name of Jesus Christ together. That's the payoff for me. That's why I do this. That and the fact is part of the great commission that every believer is commanded to do. So... There's my motives right out there in the open and up front. So go ahead. If you got a prayer request, what are you waiting for? Absolutely. Let's go ahead and pray for Shana to be healed from healed from trauma. So Father God, we come to you on behalf of Shana. And Father, we know that Jesus already paid for that healing. We know it already belongs to her because Jesus bought it for her with his blood when he died on that cross. We also know that as believers, we've all been given the Great Commission, which gives us the authority to heal the sick. And even emotional and spiritual wounds have been paid for. The healing has been paid for crown of thorns that Jesus wore symbolizes that. So, Jesus, we just ask you to touch Shana's mind, her spirit, her emotions, and anywhere else there's trauma. 
anywhere else she's been wounded by trauma, stress, or grief. Jesus, that you would just heal her from the inside out. That those wounds would be healed. That she would be restored. That she would have the peace and joy that you want her to have. By the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Any more prayer requests? Go ahead and type them in. You're welcome, Shana. Uh, well, I haven't seen anything come in from Cloud Hub tonight. It looks like my computer's having a little trouble keeping up, so I'm going to go ahead and end the Cloud Hub stream early. That way we have more resources to run the broadcast to Facebook. So good night to Cloud Hub over there. All right, well that should help Facebook. Any prayer requests at all, go ahead and type those in the chat, and I'll pray for you. Even if you've already had some prayer requests answered, and you've got more, go ahead and type them in. Hey, blessing CC Chen. You're in time if you have a prayer request. Go ahead and type it in. You need protection for the family or restoration of the family or salvation for family members. Or don't have to be specific as to which members, but you kind of help me. The healing of the family. All right. So Father God, we come to you on behalf of C.C. Chan's family. Jesus, we say thank you for shedding your blood on that cross and paying for their salvation and for all the healing they'll ever need, physical, spiritual, and emotional. So, Father God, we just ask that you would heal their minds, their bodies, and their souls. From all wounds, from trauma, from grief. All wounds, intentional and unintentional. They would all be healed. We come against the spirit of bitterness. And Father, we ask that you restore in them a heart of forgiveness, one for another. That you'd help them to find grace and mercy for one another. The love that they have for one another would grow and overcome all, all wounds and all obstacles, all barriers in between them. That they would be restored. In Jesus' name, amen.
going to pray for Shana's brother. For deliverance of, from bondage, wisdom, and restoration to his life. That God will lead him in the word, giving him understanding and revelation. So Father God, we come to you on behalf of Shana's brother. And Father, we just ask that you would grant him deliverance. From any and all bondage that he may be in. Father, please grant him wisdom and restoration of his life. And Father, by your Holy Spirit, lead him. Lead him in the study of your word. Give him revelation and understanding. Because we know that healing comes by your word. Make this request on his behalf in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, any more? Guess if that's all the prayer requests, unless anybody's got one more, I'll wait just a little bit longer and make sure. But don't miss your chance to get your prayer. I think it was February last year when I started doing this. So it's been about a year. I've seen a lot of miracles. A lot of people healed of back pain. I've seen kidney failure reversed. Just the list goes on and on. Knees and shoulders healed. Just this week, somebody I prayed for was taken off life support, and they stabilized on <laughs> The doctor said, we take them off life support, they'll die. They took them off life support, and they got better. God still heals today. Healing is for today. Yeah, that's a pretty good sign when somebody gets healed, and the doctor said they should die, and they get healed instead. got her car stolen and had a baby seat in the back and had the bag with all the stuff for her baby all the food and everything diapers and me and some other people prayed for her and said right after I put the amen on the end of the prayer the police called her up and said we've got your car back and all your stuff Yeah, that's it. Jesus did it. I mean, I'm just praying by faith that Jesus has done the work.
All right, well, I guess if there's no more prayer requests, I guess my work's done for the night. But I'd like to say thank you to everyone who came in and allowed me to pray for you or your loved ones. It's a blessing to me to be able to do this and have a front row seat to watch God work. And I pray everybody gets a restful, regenerative sleep tonight, wakes up refreshed in the morning. And I hope to see everybody on the next broadcast. Good night, everybody.